think I saw the initial COVID labeling and the community minded um, listing. And, you know, for to me, that just sounded like a worthwhile endeavor, you know, to kind of help your community and um, gain some practical business knowledge at the same time, you know, kind of go outside of the textbook and just see where that leads. And as you got into the, the company itself, what was your initial impressions of the company uh, and your activities once you first got in a discussion with the company? I would say my initial impressions were, is this how things really are? You know, because we sort of just learn facts and figures. And when you get out in the real world, it seems like a lot of the textbook behavior of business is really just not present. You know, um, among, you know, you have to solve a lot of very unique challenges. And in this case, it was, we need to figure out, uh, you know, what COVID is in the context of business, the business landscape as best as we can. And, you know, then we're going to pivot to this sales, and then we're going to try to just see, you know, go from there. And so I think it was a lot of learning and a lot of um, just thinking on your feet. I mean, it honestly just feels like two different disciplines um, to some degree. Like, you know, I have a background in accounting and, um, you know, financial accounting, auditing, all that jazz. But when it came down to this general business internship, it was just, I think the most valuable thing for me was just understanding, you know, the reality of the business landscape, how to work virtually and, you know, just a better understanding. I think there were two separate things in many ways, but um, there was some overlap with general business, you know, in terms of marketing, in terms of some of my finance coursework, in terms of a few accounting, you know, more regulation type stuff. But I think, you know, they mesh in some ways and they don't in others. Based on your background, did you want to um, kind of branch out into this general business activity as opposed to just staying in accounting? I would say yes. Because I mean, you know, uh, I was up until that point, I was very accounting specific and it was kind of nice to just get a better understanding for, um, you know, the general business landscape. Again, I mean, you just kind of don't understand as a student the, um, you know, just how things actually operate. And, you know, from an accounting perspective, you can understand, you know, the debits and the credits, you can understand the cash flows, but it's also nice to understand, you know, on the, the you know, the front line, how exactly do we push forward a product? How exactly do we um, make, make a product that's worthwhile even. And so it was just very rewarding from that perspective to just kind of connect all the dots. Now the company that you worked with was they need X, Y, Z, but you essentially were working on behalf of that company out in the community. What were the things, what was your interaction with the company first? And then what was your interaction with all of these other companies? Um, so first the interaction with they need X, Y, Z, um, it was really just, uh, you know, they were, that was, it felt more like I was interning with them. And in many regards, they took me under my wing or their wing and, um, you know, taught us some valuable marketing and sales, um, you know, just business fundamentals. And then when we sort of branched, they, you know, just sort of uh, took us in a certain direction and said, hey, all right, so now we're going to go off and uh, reach out to other businesses um, particularly I was reaching out to dentistries and so, you know, I don't exactly love my dentist, but, uh, that's where I started. And so they taught us initially, you know, you got to start within your own network and it makes sense because you can make more mistakes and you can kind of understand, you know, it's like that classic project management you develop, but then you can only develop so far. You need to do some outreach and then go back to developing that sort of thing. So I feel like we reached out to a lot of uh, other businesses and just learned how they work and they're busy, especially during these times. And so you just sort of just, again, you understand the business landscape better. Well, forgive me for using an old cliche, but it sure sounds like you were drinking from a fire hose. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, tell me about your expectations going in versus the reality of what you have coming out. 
you know, this is a great opportunity and, you know, hopefully I get to learn a little bit more about COVID in the context of business. Cause you know, we only know, you know COVID from the context of ourselves and what we can do at a, and a good opportunity to, um, you know, in a very contemporary sense, um, apply what I learned to, you know, the issues at hand being the COVID, you know, COVID-19 and the economic recession and, you know, just the unique challenges that businesses are facing. And so to me, that was, you know, the reality was, okay, here's some real stuff that's going on that I wasn't previously aware. I would say I struggled most with the research just because, um, it was hard to discern what was, you know, most important to they need, need, they need X, Y, Z versus, you know, just what's important to all the other businesses. So, and then from the sales perspective, it was really just cold calling and talking to a lot of receptionists, talking to some dentists, some business owners. And, um, I never felt like that was too challenging. It was just, you know, the first couple calls were definitely the scariest because you don't have your script very well. You're still working on it. And so when you call them, you know, you're mumbling a little bit, but you get through it. And then um, afterwards you're like, okay, that wasn't too difficult. And you know, this is the reality of this business is we're just trying to push this product and you've got to do it in a way that, um, you know, as one of the uh, mentors Joel told us was from the perspective of the audience, you know, what do they need versus what do we need? Based on this experience that you had in the internship um, of the students assisting business, would you recommend it to other students? Absolutely, especially with this business climate of, you know, very limited opportunities. Um, I think it's a great gateway into just better understanding businesses in general and, you know, to work alongside businesses or a single business would be worthwhile to anyone. I mean, regardless of if you're marketing, accounting, finance, um, you know, even another major, you know, because everything at the end of the day kind of surrounds business to some degree. And it's just always good to understand that landscape.